My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. This is the only channel dedicated to UFC fight picks and DraftKings lineups run by MMA insiders and professional fighters. Every week, I join Dan Kramer and Nick Newell, two longtime professional fighters that have fought at the highest levels on the planet, as well as Jacob Lines, a skinny kid from Indiana. So join us every single week for our full fight card breakdowns, our individual fight card breakdowns, our betting guide, and our DraftKing lineups. Next up at UFC Vegas 27, we have Justin Taffa versus Jared Vandera. Dan loves Jared Vandana. Dan bet the house on Jared Vandana. Dan was all in on Vandana versus Spivak. And boy, did Dan look stupid. So you hold a grudge. You picked them too, you, you lot. To relax. You... I'm still oh doing the intro. Oh my God, what a hypocrite. To relax, I'm still doing the intro. So you're slurring your words. You can't even say his last I'm name. Drinking right? water. I can't say his last name oh. because my blood boils when I see it. So oh. <laughs> what I will say I'm with you there. Jared Vandana looked <laughs> horrific against the guy twice his age and half his not twice his age, but a guy half his size. He just looked horrific. Um, in his last fight, Spivak just lit him up, made him look like an absolute moron. With that being said. I actually think in this matchup, Don't do it's it. not a bad matchup. For Go him. listen to one of his interviews. Don't do it. <laughs> I think it's a, not a terrible matchup. I mean, he is a wrestler. You can't tell from his last fight because that was terrible. And I talked to Nick Newell earlier today, and Nick is normally on our show, but he's not here now because he's training for a fight in three weeks on, in Bellator. So he needs to focus on that. And Nick said, it's funny because I was like, I think Jared's like a decent matchup for Taffa because of the wrestling. And uh, Nick's exact words were, everybody says that because Jared beat Hudsucker in his UFC debut. And he's like, I could have beaten Hudsucker in my UFC debut. So, and Nick's 155 pounder. So I guess he doesn't really appreciate that win. He's got no qualms about it. He thinks Justin Taffa gets it done. But what's so funny is Justin Taffa has six fights. It's not like he's been around, I feel like, forever. And he's like a name at this point, but he, he hasn't done much, which is interesting. Either way, I'll pass it off. But I do think stylistically, Jared Van Dan is not a miserable matchup. Justin Taffa is like a Tai Tuivasa. Solid leg kicks. Good striking. Samoan chin. Like he's not going anywhere. So I think Jared can take him down and beat him up down there. But Daniel, try to calm yourself down. Be unbiased and let me know what you think. So if Bruno Silva is my favorite, Jared Vandera, not Vandana or whatever you've said 17 times, is one of my least favorite. There's one more that's worse than him. But yeah, we were, uh, we, Angela, were both... <laughs> Pretty heavy on him as being a live dog in his last fight, just going against Spivak, who's, like you said, a 220-something pound heavyweight um, against Vandera, who's a legit 265. I'll, I'll never forget, I was you know, doing some research on the fight, and he was like, oh, I'm working with a 290-pound heavyweight wrestler for this fight. I was like, yes, he's going to come out. Oh, my God, did he get smoked that fight. Um so, anyways, I, I yeah, I don't I don't know what to expect out of this guy. Honestly, go listen to one of his interviews. He seems like a free spirit. So I don't know what he's doing. If he's training, if he's not, if he's got a good game plan, or if he doesn't. But uh, I'm not betting on him. I, I think I am going to put Justin Taffa in my lineup. Um, he's well, you not really there. hate Vandera. That it's just it's blinded you. This could this could backfire on me, right? <laughs> he means- he's gonna he's gonna come out and be like an Olympic wrestler switching. <laughs> Single leg to double leg. I'll, I mean, I'll, I might be, I might have to take a week off. Thousand dollars, dude. Listen, I, I honestly, Newell put it right. Like, I got sold on that fight because he took Hunsucker down and, and looked like a beast on top. But Hunsucker took that fight on whatever, four days' notice. And Vandera got lit up the first round of that fight. And just because he's a 265 pound big guy, he, you know big brother at him to the ground and but you know i don't think that's gonna cut it against justin i don't know i mean yeah it's interesting interesting dynamic because i haven't seen a ton of takedown defense out of taffa either so this could be a fight where that gets exposed so 
That's why I don't have him in there right now, but I'm very tempted to take Tafa because <laughs> two seconds ago, I, I have did, I, Tafa in my lineup. <laughs> no, I said I don't. And I'm thinking about putting him in there. Oh. Um, at least I think that's what I said. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. If they, it, Vandera might. <laughs> I Go listen to one of his up, interviews, man. please. He might not. He might not even come out with a wrestling game plan. He might think he's going to strike with Tafa, like that. Yeah, that would be a mistake. Yeah, I know. But literally, he might think that that might be his game plan. He may have thought it up himself. Anyways, I don't know what's going to happen with this. If they strike, Justin Tafa is going to beat him up. If Vandera does get some wrestling going on, we're going to find out if Tafa has any defense. Um, so I don't know. My pick's Justin Taffa. I think he's going to light him up on the feet. Um, but I, I guess I wouldn't be surprised if Vandera figured out a way to, to get it to the ground and, and use some grappling. So, Well, I think uh, Jared definitely has a path to victory. And I think he's a live dog in this fight, especially at 7,200 bucks. If, if those odds move more and he's a plus two something, I'll definitely throw a money line on him. Jacob... How do you see it going? And do you agree that Jared's a live underdog? I think Justin should win this fight for sure. You know, he, he got knocked down in his USC debut, but that was because, you know, he was 3-0 as a pro, was TKO and everybody and got a little bit aggressive with the Castro and got caught. Uh, I like him as a fighter overall as a heavyweight. You know, he's got heavyweight power, but he doesn't really fight like a heavyweight. He's very measured. He can go all three rounds if he needs to. He can kind of pick his spots. You saw that against uh, Felipe in his last fight. That was a complete, that was an absolute war, uh, that split decision loss versus Felipe. An incredible fight. I'm, I'm really high on Felipe. I love Felipe as a striker. He's a very high volume striker and uh, and Tafa went toe to toe with him. I think, I think Tafa is going to end up up his career where he's you know really up there for a title shot uh, eventually and you might see a record of like 15 and 4 15 and 3 at some point i think he just rattles off a ton in a row i think it starts with jared like you said yeah we don't know what we're going to get with jared in this fight um so he could come out and wrestle but i think i think tafa still um can can sit back measure hit those counter shots with with some bad takedown attempts by jared so i don't i don't trust it enough with the nine thousand, especially because he's not like the typical heavyweight where if, if he lands, he will get, you know, he will get the knockout shots, but he's just kind of a measured striker. will take his time. And, you know, I don't really like that for $9,000 at a heavyweight in DraftKings. So, um, you know, 81 and a half too from, from monkey knife on Jared is just like, I don't know where that number number came from, but uh, I think it assumes less- I, I bet because it's total strikes now, not significant. And I think in Jared's wins, he's on top and these little pepper hit somebody in the head while covering their mouth. Those all count. So I'm thinking that's, I think statistically it would make sense. I just don't know what will happen here. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I'm going less, that. less. Justin Taffa, knockout, first minute. <laughs> Finish your thought, Jacob, before Daniel was just so rude. I'm sorry. I'm just. No, you're fine. No, that's fine. I, I, uh, I agree. I think, I think Taffa wins the fight. All right. Well, good thing I circled back on that. <laughs> but I do think it, it's funny because if what? it was tight. Ty- if it was tied to Ivasa instead of Justin Taffa, I'd be like, guarantee win worth every nickel. But, you know, I don't know, man. So, think- you know, it's interesting. I don't know if you guys knew, but so Justin Taffa fights like Mark Hunt, and Mark Hunt was legitimately like his mentor. Right? Like, there's some interviews where he said that he would probably still be like in a homeless shelter or something if it weren't for Mark Hunt. So, they have very similar styles, too. So you can just see, you know, Calculated, sit back, wait he's, for it. He's better than Mark Hunt. He's better than Mark Hunt. Dude, that's a bold statement. That is Mark, a bold. Mark I mean, Mark Hunt's like a like a a five hundred fighter. Oh my God, Jacob, this yeah, is. Yeah, but you didn't showing. watch his career, dude. Like, right. I mean, I watch all those biggest knockouts, but look, what's his record? Japan. Look at his record right now. It doesn't matter, dude. There's it's so a bit of what Mark you BJ Penn are what your record is. What do you mean, doesn't matter? You are what your record is. Oh my God. So is BJ Penn? Tafa is nowhere. Right, right. BJ Penn's. What is BJ Penn, Jacob? Randy Couture. All of them have shit records. Right. I can't say the S word. I know. We'll see what happens. We'll see if this if this video gets unmonetized. So anyway, I do think this is a we got off topic with Mark Hunt there. I think uh, this is a weird fight. I hope Justin Taffa knocks out Jared Vandera because I want to see more Justin Taffa. He's the type of person you want to watch. He's the type of person you want to see go through the ranks. 
I don't want to see more of Jared Vantara. So I do think he's live in this fight, but uh, I hope Justin Taffa goes out there, blows his head off, and then gets some some really cool striker heavyweight matchups. Big giant shout out and humongous thank you to all of our members and supporters. I specifically want to thank Ansi Music, David Ramon, Chris Jory, Dunchichi, Jesse Correa, Lapuza, Joe Todoro, Logan Garrick, X Sweet Spot X, Jordan Burgard, Aaron Reynolds, Brent Hinson, Jill, Juan Valdez, Chris Riley, Kayla Roth, King Rob, Oh My Gosh 1337, Pierre Exelholm, and Chris V. You guys are outstanding. We genuinely appreciate it. If you are an existing member and you have not gotten your commemorative Dan Kramer collecting card, reach out with like your Pokemon address. cards. They're making a comeback. Reach out with your address and we will mail it to you. If you are not a member and you want one of those limited edition cards, hit the join button below and we will get one out to you immediately. Members also have the ability to earn $30 in our free DraftKings League instead of the traditional 15 for everybody else. Thank you That's all. That's double. That is double. It's basically an investment. So thank you all very, very much for the support. It is appreciated, and we will see you every single weekend.